Most of us don't think twice about getting around town, but those who use a wheelchair face challenges many of us just can't begin to imagine. That is why a Central Texas organization is recruiting volunteers and arming them with an app. KXN's Amanda Dugan spoke with a woman whose story may change the way you look at those accessible parking spaces. Just now, really getting out and about and being a lot more independent. Lori Allen is a self-proclaimed baby quad, meaning she has been living as a quadriplegic for just over two years. Parking has presented a whole new set of challenges for me as I'm getting out and about. She says many times van accessible parking spaces are either taken, motorcyclists park in them, or people leave shopping carts behind. For the most part, you know, it's not malice, people just don't know. Since 2009, the nonprofit organization, Parking Mobility, has been working to address and educate about accessible parking abuse. Currently, both Hayes and Travis counties have volunteer programs where citizens who meet state requirements report violations through the Parking Mobility app and issue a citation. Officials with Parking Mobility say their next step is getting Williamson County on board. Data that we collect in our program really helps to, to generate a dialogue and allow us to have conversations with people to solve this problem. Parking Mobility then takes the data to educate lawmakers, property managers, and business owners. Get more people spending money in their businesses because they're doing things the right way and being accessible to everybody. I don't want to be limited in where I can go and what I can do. Amanda Dugan, KXA News. Anyone can use the parking mobility app to report an issue they see, but there are about 200 trained citizen volunteers in Hayes and Travis counties who are able to issue citations. People who get a ticket have three options, pay the fine, which is a $500 minimum, request a court date to fight it, or complete an online class to get that citation dismissed. Most choose the last option, and in five years, nobody who's completed that course has gotten another ticket.